Okay. Hi, friends. It is time for writing. So you need your journal out. And like we've been doing, I'm going to use Jake's book um, from when he was in kindergarten, his journal, to help you come up with some ideas of what you could write about. So I'm going to change it a little bit today, but I am going to show you one of his writings. Okay. We know that Jake really likes paper airplanes, but another thing that I don't know if you know about Jake is that he really loves basketball. When we are at our house, he is either making paper airplanes or playing basketball. We have basketball hoops in like every room of our house except the kitchen. And I'm not even kidding. It's a little crazy. But Mr. Carpenter is a basketball coach and was a basketball player. So Jake is really into basketball. <laughs> So that is one thing that Jake really likes to do. So today you are going to be writing about something that you really like to do. But first, I'm going to show you his writing about basketball. I'm going to turn it around. All right. Lower this a little bit. See it. Okay. So here's Jake. He loves Michael Jordan, who is number 23. So he has number 23. And then here's the boy and another boy playing basketball. So he writes, I can see the boy. He is playing basketball at his house in the basement. So he already told us that the boy is doing something. What is the boy doing? Yep, playing basketball. And he told us where the boy is. He's in his house. But he also gave us a detail about where he is in the house. You're right, he's in the basement. He likes to play basketball. He has friends in his house. One day he played against his friends in his house and he won. Then he threw a three pointer at the buzzer. Then his team won. He got a trophy. Okay. So I am going to have it changed a little bit because I want you to write about yourself instead of a boy or a girl. So I have my journal here. I'm gonna start you off by saying, I am laying And then you are going to keep writing. Maybe you want to write about playing dolls. If you play dolls at your house, maybe you want to write about playing Barbies. Maybe you want to write about playing a sport like basketball or baseball or football or soccer. Maybe you are playing outside on your playground um, or your swing set. Um, I am playing a game with my family. Maybe that's something that you like to do. I want you to tell me what you are playing and I want you to tell me one more detail about what, either where you are playing it, who won, um, if you're playing dolls, what are your dolls names, then I want some detailed pictures. So you need to start off your sentence with I am playing and then you need to tell me what you're playing and where you're playing it. I am playing on my swing set. I am in my backyard. It is fun. Maybe you're going to say, I am playing with my dolls. I have a dollhouse. My doll's name is Rainbow High Girl, whatever your doll's name may be. Maybe you're going to say, I am playing football. I just scored a touchdown. I am on the field. I won a trophy. So you need to tell me what you are playing. You could be thinking about something you like to play. Maybe you just like to play in the snow. I am playing in the snow. I am building a snowman. I give him a hat, right? You can write about whatever you like to play today. Please make sure you write the date at the top, which is 3-11-22. And you have a detailed picture. It needs to be colored. You should never say I'm done. You always need to have the teacher check it. You can always add details to your pictures. If you're finished, you may practice on the bottom or the next page your sight words for the week or your numbers one through 20. So there should never be anyone saying I'm finished and putting their book away. 
you are working the entire writing time. Okay, so you are writing about playing something just like Jake wrote about the boy playing basketball. You're gonna tell me something you're playing. All right, I can't wait to see your writing on Monday. Have fun and do your best job. I wanna make sure that I can read it. So do your best handwriting and your best illustration. Have fun.